On average, 18 Palestinians die every week in clashes with the Israelis. A martyr is someone who dies for his or her faith. But here it means anyone killed in the fight with the Israelis. Everywhere you go in the city, you see massive posters of martyrs. Um, it's like they're celebrities, and many of them look very young. The glorification of the fallen is so pervasive, even mothers seem to embrace it. In some families, anger at the occupation is so great, mothers seem to be pushing their children to die by murder-suicide. Take the case of Mariam Farat, mother of 19-year-old Mohammed. Unable to join the fight herself, Mrs. Farhad offered up her son instead. Mrs. Farhad insists she raised her son from the time he was a boy to die an early death. She even went so far as to help him enshrine his legacy by appearing in his martyr video. These images were beamed throughout the Middle East making a celebrity of both Mohammed and Mrs. Farhat. A mother's endorsement of her son's murder-suicide broadcast for the world to see. I wish I could follow them now. I don't want to live a moment without them. Mrs. Farhat has even taken on a new name, Um Nidal, or Mother of the Struggle. When your sons were little boys, did you think that you would have to give them up for this conflict? I brought them up to be martyrs, to become martyrs for the name of Allah. Mrs. Farhad is certainly unusual, but I couldn't help wondering if other mothers here were raising their children the same way. There wasn't a definite time in which they told me they wanted to become martyrs. I instilled this in them, and they followed it, thanks be to Allah. And they reached their goal, which was martyrdom, thanks be to Allah. And the ones who just started, they are going to continue. Mrs. Farhat is not done. She says she's now pushing her other children to become martyrs. She took me into Mohammed's old room, now occupied by another son. Martyr posters don't just line the city streets. They adorn the rooms of children. This is your bedroom? Are these faces of the dead keeping watch over a young man destined to join their ranks? This is Mohammed. It was such a chilling visit, but the most disturbing image to me was Um Nadal's young grandson sitting within inches of an AK-47 rifle. 